Damn, I'm just late. Four weeks late. Hopefully I can get this edited and made for you guys. Anyways, see you guys. What's up guys? Back at you guys again. So, um, we decided to do a little project here. And, um, tie-dye some, some face mask. So, um, my girlfriend tied down a, tie dyed a shirt. I tie dyed a mask and her mask. And, oh, two masks. And then I'll show you guys my shirt and stuff. That, after it's tie dyed. But then, um, let me show you guys the how it looks right now. So, that's how my girlfriend's shirt looks. That's how my mask looks. That's how her two masks look. And then you come all the way over here. There it is right here. My shirt. It's an unarmor shirt. Old unarmor shirt. It had a fish in the back. And that's how it looks. I don't think it's supposed to look that messed up, but yeah. So it so says wait to six eight wait wait to six to eight hours and then check on it and then wash it. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll show you guys my finished project after that. Good morning guys. So this is how the mask looks. Um kinda looks like almost like a cow but um probably need more other colors to make it look cool. Almost looks like a, a cow with black and white spots. So there's this one right here, the one I was talking about. Looks like a cow. Then there's the shirt. So let's try to do the shirt quick. So I can untie it like this. Alright, then let me open it for you guys. So voila. This is how it looks. And this is how I tie dyed it. This one looks really cool because I like the way I put the design right here. And um, yeah, so all I need to do is wash it and then I'll put it on for you guys and then we'll see how it looks after that. Hopefully the color still stays in there, it doesn't wash out. But yeah, see what happens. Peace out, guys. So guys, we're gonna do some, a little interior cleaning inside the truck. So let's see how it goes. How about using the right um wipes? Cause I don't. I hope they don't like them. Um, you know, mess up my leather or something. You guys know wipes. The best wipe to use for I don't know leather. Cause I have some leather in here, but this anything I can use to make it like look nice, nice, you know, good. You guys, let me know in the comments. Cause I wanna, I wanna try something. See if it's gonna look nice. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's hope this door's clean right here. Quick interior deep cleaner like cleans I mean safety cleans all interiors safely cleans all interiors restores and protects the original surf original appearance bigger and thicker it is so now let's just wipe here so so this is gonna be the finished product um, let's clean it there oh I got the top Yep. Let's 
let's get on with the day. Good afternoon, you guys. So, um, today I'm gonna take my my truck for a ride. Just to do in a little circle around the neighborhood. After that, then I'm gonna uh, come and check on my fluids. And then my girlfriend went ahead and bought me a, um, a tailgate. Like, I don't know what it's called, like a tailgate cover kind of thing. I think I'll just show you guys whenever I get to the video. But it's pretty cool. And um, the other one broke off, so this one's a new one. And this one looks look pretty well nice. But let's take a nice good cruise around the neighborhood. And it's only going to take maybe 10, 5, min 5, 10 minutes. But it's bright out here. But anyways, let's go for this cruise. Sorry, the video's a little cricket. See here. So as I was telling you guys that I had something I was gonna fix right here in my truck. Well, here's the piece. Here's that piece. Here's that piece. Remember how on Chevy's like they have that little part that goes on the tailgate? Man, this is freaking hot as heck. Ooh, show you guys how it looks if it was to be on there. Oh, damn it, guys, this is hot. Be your back. So that's how it would look if it was on there. It would look like that. But then my girlfriend, she was nice, and she bought me that guy right there. So I'm gonna put that on today. Hopefully I have all the tools. I mean, I just have a Leatherman. Hope that works, but we'll see. Let's get her done. So, out with the old, in with the new. So this is from Freehound Auto. This is 2007 through 2014 Chevy Silverado GMC Sierra tailgate spoiler. Oh, so I guess it's a spoiler. Ooh, you guys are gonna like this one. This is the fast instructions. So, this they all came out of the bag. It's stuff. What the heck? I am confused. Find out, guys. So just... Oh, there it is. A little hole right there. See it? Let's put these both back in the bag. One. I don't see how much is in there, but... Three of them fell out, but... One, but I guess three is better than one. Hang on, I'll just one more in there. See? Ooh. Bug on me. Oh, that was another tool, it's just a staple. Okay, so we got four of these little guys right here. I'm gonna clean my phone off real quick, guys. How the new one looks it's kind of really nicer like a lot more cooler this vibe that vibe right there so let's just see how it goes well at least these ones lift it up and see if we can get that underneath we can go from there let me try to take these off okay okay so i got this part let me see here i got it like that I don't even know. Let's look here. Remember that side. Not much. Oh crap. Look at that. Well, hey, you know what? I forgot I have a mallet. Let me get my mallet. Okay, okay so. How much there? How much right there? How much is over here? Can I, can I get a little tap? Oh shoot. Damn, probably went all off. Oh. About a little more time. Right there. A little room. Close this. Hang on, you guys. There we go. 
Okay, so. I mean, there's a gap right there, so. Another gap right there. But, so let me try to hit this over a little bit with the mallet and then we can see where, we, where we're at then. So, I don't know if I told you guys a while ago that I was, say, I was just gonna leave these, but it's just like the one, like when I showed you the other one, the, the thing, it's all kind of like showing in the, showing underneath. So I think I'm gonna go get some goo gone. I'm gonna try to scrape it out somehow. So let me try to figure out how to get this off real quick and then um, maybe I'll see you in a couple of days. I don't know. I could take some time. Let me get all this off real quick though. For some of you guys, you guys probably would have figured this out and thinking like simple, super simple. But I just realized there's holes right here just to put a little thing in there that was. Yeah, so all I really need to do is just clean this up right here. Like I said in another video, but I don't, I don't know, man. Okay, guys, so I put that, that goo gun on it right here. I got that much done. Got that. And then I'm doing all this right here, trying to get it out with the Leatherman. And then, so let me get all this off. Maybe I can put it on. Okay, so now I took it all off. Like that, kind of scraped it off with that, um, with the goo gun. It looks a little ugly, but like, I'll clean it up when I wash the truck or wash it. See, don't look it away. So I push it down, it goes into the hole right there. See it? It should be a little bit more that way. But push it down, it goes into the hole. So I'm gonna have to push it down, put those little tips in there, and then we got it. It's like, it's not even gonna show this part right here. It's gonna show a little bit. So let's get it. Oh, yeah, by the way. I'm not thinking. It took me like four days to do this. Besides the point, I'm about to finish it. I keep messing up. Forgot this. Let's go in there. Like this. The other way. Like this. Go in the hole, out, and then I can screw my screws in there. So I have four of them. Like that. So let me try to put this in there without letting it fall. That one right here was easy. This one right here was freaking hard. This one was freaking hard. That one was easy. Look at that. I can't even get my f it looks so easy right there to do it right there, but so easy. I mean, so hard. But you can put the thing on there, then actually, let me see if I can put these on there real quick so I won't have to lose them. So, let me put those on there. What's up, guys? So, anyways, thinking the about to tailgate. I'll try fixing that and like thinking. I need a little more tools. I mean, I used my Leatherman for it, but like it was already seven o'clock and it was getting dark and I was getting frustrated with it and I just couldn't get it. Cause like I put the put the, the, the thing in there like this. So when I put the other thing in there, see what up. So anyways, so, so like there's just like this hole, like the screw. Okay, so this goes through like the hole right here. This is the tailgate, tailgate like that, right? Like this, so I put it through the hole, like that, and this is like, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, but like, this is the screw that goes through the tailgate, and this goes through right here and screws in right here. Anyways, when I put the, that spoiler on, I have to lift it up, and whenever I lift it up, it pushes this thing out and falls into the tailgate, and so I'm thinking it just messes it all up. And I have to keep taking the tailgate and flipping it over. And then I got it one time, but they're thinking the screw started pushing up and started just going into the, the tailgate and I couldn't get it. So now I need that, I forgot what it's called, that tool, that hexagon tool or whatever. It looks like an octagon, the bit. Anyways, I need to start doing that and get my Leatherman, hold it in and start screwing it in and then i'll be perfect but right now i got frustrated with it i just need that little hexagon tool anyways um thank you for watching 
that's why it took forever to upload a video because I was trying to fix that and I never got a chance. So forget that. I'll let you guys know when I fix it. And um, yo, by the way, let me go. Let me know what you guys' favorite snacks. I was at Walmart the other day and I shouldn't think of a snack. I couldn't think of a snack. But anyways, let me know you guys' snacks to eat. Yeah, anyways, peace out. Have a good time. Like and subscribe. Have a good weekend.